I welcome in new month, new parlay video here, of course, on the Odd Shopper family. So make sure you hit that thumbs up button and you are subscribed. We want you to be part of this community as we welcome in the month of August. I understand the month of July was forgettable for a lot of people. It was a rough one across the board, regardless of what you were betting, what you were with. It was just tough. I know a lot of people smarter, more successful than me in this game were saying something similar. So it makes me feel a little bit better about having a rough July. But here's the beauty of it. We're right back today, opening up the week, opening up the month, three more picks. Now, we also have something we need to tell you about BetMGM because we have this amazing risk-free $1,000 bet that you're going to get. All you need to do is just sign up. But let's go, speaking of which, to BetMGM and build the first of our three-leg parlay on the diamond. These have been tough. I get it. Unlike the no-run first innings where we've just been crushing, we're going to get one of these. And today is the day. I just I have this feeling that today is the day. Let's go to the first five between the Dodgers and the Giants. That's where we open up. And I was inclined to actually go under four and a half looking at the pitching matchup. You do have an opener in Heaney taking on Webb on the other side, thinking all right, you're definitely not going to get a run in the first inning. And our FI video is up. Make sure you check that out. But looking at the return here, minus 135 to go under four and a half for the first five, a couple of times through the lineup, knowing that the Dodgers move to the pen, most likely after the first, second inning following Heaney's outing. Webb is hittable. The minus 135 against an L.A. Dodgers team that is not decimated by injury or anything along those lines seemed a little off. And then when you further this and you start to look at where the Dodgers are, first five scoring average on the road, they lead baseball. They average 3.18 runs per first five. That's on top of baseball. Nobody averages more on the road. Now, what about the Giants looking at that at home? Well, San Francisco is no slouch by any means. They average 2.96 runs per first inning. Pardon me, runs per, get caught up in the NRFI video, runs per first five. Both of these teams, over six combined runs in the first five. And somehow, because of an opener, and Webb, Logan Webb on the other side, we're laying 135 to go under here. No, we're going to go over four and a half in the first five and trust that either the second time through for the Giants against the Dodgers pen or, or simply getting to Webb, which is doable. And again, the minus 135 was a little shocking. But at the same time, for the first five innings, these two teams just have a knack for scoring respectively Dodgers on the road, San Fran at home. That's the first leg that we wanted to take advantage of, more so than anything else, really. We're going to go to this Mets-Nats game, but you you have to see this, okay? It's below me. There's a link. We still have the parlay, the day code as well, OSMLV parlay. But there's a $1,000 risk-free bet waiting for you over at BetMGM. Think about that. $1,000. It's sitting there. In your, you just you haven't used it yet. You haven't activated it yet because you haven't signed up yet. So all you need to really do is just click the link below. It's going to take you to BetMGM. Again, you have a promo code you can use as well, OSMLB Parlay. It's going to take you there. And then when you get to BetMGM, you sign up, you go through the drill, you know everything there. And you're going to get a risk-free bet up to $1,000. Up to $1,000 you can deposit in play it, and get a risk-free bet. Now, if you want, you could use that 1000 on this MLB parlay, assuming that you've signed up and activated the bet ahead of time. Go ahead. I wouldn't suggest it. I'd probably just listen to Rasa's sharp play of the day today and play that 1000 on that. But a risk-free bet up to $1,000, I don't know how long this is going to be here. If you haven't signed up at BetMGM yet, you're throwing money out the window. I mean, essentially, you might as well just take a stack, douse it in kerosene, and light it on fire. A $1,000 risk-free bet is sitting there waiting for you. Let's go back to the first five. Got a little feeling about the first five today, at least with these first two plays. 
Mets taking on the Nationals in Washington. The trade deadline is looming. We know that from Soto to others, there is just this sense of when is it going to happen? Just end it already. The New York Mets poised to really make a run here. And it's got to start, especially with the Braves looming. You've got the Phillies winning games. It just has to start by beating the Nationals. Like, you can't afford to come into this series with Max Scherzer on the hill and lose the opener to Patrick Corbin. Just can't happen. And that's why we roll with the Mets here, minus one and a half, first five on the run line. Max Scherzer, and, and really this comes down to the pitching matchup. It comes down to Max Scherzer versus Patrick Corbin and just the wide, the ridiculously wide gap between the two from stat to performance. I think that's essentially what we're looking at here more than anything else is just the wide gap. Like I know what I can get from Max Scherzer the first time and a half if not more, through this Washington lineup. And at the same time, like, Patrick Corbin is dreadful. And it's going to reflect that as well going up against the Mets where he's going to struggle a couple of times through the lineup. So I don't know if it's just a matter of not trusting Patrick Corbin, this sense of urgency that the Mets are dealing with right now. They just can't afford it. And they're the better team without trade loom. They've already made a deal or two and bringing in some depth with bats. They don't have their star player. Pete Alonzo isn't waiting to hear whether or not he's been traded into where. That's going to weigh, and it has already. I get it. You know, this series against St. Louis is a little funky on Sunday for Washington, but this is a Mets first five victory. And that adds our second leg plus 110. We'll lay one and a half. You don't like it? You want to lay the half run? Okay. I don't hate you for it, but I'm going minus one and a half. Mets win the first five by two. In case you're wondering, the New York Mets on the road, as far as scoring in the first five innings, 2.12, decent average. Washington at home, 225. So just on the surface, the stats will tell you that this is going to be a tight one. What's the difference? Patrick Corbin is the difference. And I'm not putting my money on Patrick Corbin. We're fading the hell out of him. Last game, let's get to it. Boston's in Houston. Now, the Red Sox come off a big one. Handling the Milwaukee Brewers, Aaron Ashby as such. Now, taking on Houston. And look, big, big one for Josh Winkowski, by all means. But taking on Houston right now on the road, this just smells like a letdown. And I don't need to push this. You know, we're going to go minus 185 on the money line. I'll show you what it breaks down to in a second when we run this back. It's not so much like, oh, Nathan Eovaldi is, is going to get lit up as evaldi has got a chance to get lit up. and. Luis Garcia on the other side has pitched exceptionally well. You look at what he's done, home splits there. This is a, an Astros team as well. We talked about that with the Mets. While you may not see it reflect at least in the standings in the division, it's still hunkering down and looking around the rest of the league, the Yankees. Boston is locked into this division race as well. And Houston, know, or wildcard race, pardon me. And Houston knows that there is this sense of desperation. And that's the difference. You don't have this sense of urgency to win this division out West like you do with the Mets in the NL East. But you definitely understand when you are the top dog or a top dog in a league that second half of the season, last quadrant of the season, you've got desperate teams like Boston. And if you just let them hang, they're going to be dangerous and they're going to win a baseball game or two. And next thing you know, you get swept out of a series. Houston comes in. They make a statement. They have the right guy on the mound in Luis Garcia. And watch them get to Evaldi rather quickly in this one. All right. Appreciate you rolling with us again. Hit the thumbs up button. We want you subscribed here. 
to the Odd Shopper channel as well. It's so simple. It's so easy. We have so much content coming out on a daily basis. And you don't want to miss stuff like a risk-free bet up to $1,000. Like you don't want to miss a risk-free bet up to $1,000. Click the link below, sign up at BetMGM. And when you do, you can deposit up to 1000 You get that risk-free bet. Go check out Ross's sharp play of the day, Josh's first look, Aaron Berg's plays. We have WNBA stuff on here as well. Go check Coop out there. So much. Oh, and by the way, Linquist has some videos, I'm told. So you might want to check him out as well. Let's cash some tickets. <laughs>